And now it's time to meet the PV High Boys Baseball Team for 2015. Well, you know, the season's kind of had its typical ups and downs. You know, we're, we're a few games over 500. Um, you know, we, we've had to overcome our fair share of adversity. We've had some, some key injuries in a couple different spots and uh, had a lot of tight ball games. So, uh, you know, a lot of which we've won. So we, we've, uh, we've been lucky and fortunate to, uh, to come out on top in a lot of one-run games. But uh, you know the guys have been pretty consistently in every ball game. Seems like a lot of players have played baseball for a very long time, and they've chose that as the sport. Do you find that a lot of the guys, um, or some of the guys here, also play other sports as well? They do. They do. Um, you know, our, our, our first baseman, DH Tanner Tellenbach, has been part of two CIF championship football teams. Uh, Adam Fogel, who's one of our outfielders, um, played basketball. On, on varsity and, and played significant minutes on, on the basketball team this year. Connor Buckle, who's an infielder, uh, played football uh, the last couple of years. Uh, Tyler Rosen has played football in the past. Uh, Mitchell Templin. So we, got, we have quite a few guys that have, uh, have either played sport, uh, other sports in high school or continue to play other sports in high school. What do you think that they have learned most from doing that, what they bring over to the baseball field? You know, uh, like in, in Tanner's case, I think it's just having a championship attitude. Uh, but also, you know, they, they they learn different athletic skill sets that that definitely transition and, and help them in this game. Uh, so so and and just it, 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 it it's a fresh take. You know, they're not they're not sitting there, uh, you know, working on baseball for 11 months. They're working right. on other things, and and it's that's always good as well. For a coach and a coaching standpoint, what's the biggest challenge that you face every season as a baseball coach? You know, I think it's just trying to figure things out of how people fit together and work together and, and, and what roles guys uh, fill. And, 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 you know, they don't necessarily have to like what they're doing, but they have to accept and, and understand how important those roles are, you know, certainly if you're not a starter. Uh, and, and we tend to use a lot of guys uh, off the bench. You know, it's, we do things a little differently. Um, you know, we're going to play the matchup. We're going to play the situation. We're going to utilize a lot of guys off the bench. And uh, it's important for those those guys to, to understand their roles and, and you know try to perform to the best of their ability. This year we are doing well. We're in league. We are doing well, and we are gonna hopefully try to win it with, over the next six six eight games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how long have you been playing baseball, and why did you choose that as your sport? And do you play other sports as well? Uh, no, I don't play any other sports that I've been playing since I was three or four. I've grown up with this, and I've loved the sport ever since. Uh, hopefully, I can play in college. Uh, this is my senior year, my last year, so hopefully this isn't my last time playing. And what position do you play? I play center field, the outfield. It's a fun, fun, fun position. Okay. What is it about center field that you think is probably the most challenging? Um, reading the ball off the bat because in left or right you can see where it's going, but in center if you have to kind of judge it based on who hits it, and you have to have a lot of speed to get to the gaps. I've been playing baseball since I was four years old, so I'd make it about 14 years. Um, I chose it because I don't know my, my grandpa played it and I I know when I was like two or three I would sit down in front of uh, the TV and my parents would repeat the same Dodgers game over and over and I would just sit there and watch it I'd have no idea but I guess ever since I was a little kid I just sit down and watch and I just love the game of baseball. Wow and this this season you guys are doing very well what has been the biggest challenges you think you've overcome? Um. The biggest challenge is, I would say, just staying consistent. You know, it's it's in baseball. It's very it's very up and down sport. And uh, I think the biggest challenge we've been I think we've been able to play at a pretty consistent and uh, steady pace. And I feel like that's pretty big accomplishment. And only we only just want to keep on increasing that pace and get better as the season goes on. What do you think that you learned the most from your coaches? Oof, you know, it's really just hard work, hard work and dedication. It all pay off in the end. No matter, I mean whether it's hitting a baseball, whether it's hustling out to your position, everything we've learned in this program, it's going to uh, prepare us for life in the future. I've been playing, playing baseball for nine years, and it's kind of just been my favorite sport. I played a lot of sports when I was a kid, but as I got into high school, I just stuck with baseball because it was my favorite. I was going to ask you, what was it about baseball that you think 
were the reason that you stuck with it? Uh, definitely just I like competing. I like the fact that it's a team sport, but it also is an individual sport at the same time. So you have to be a, both types of player. Um, you guys are doing very well this season. What do you think were your biggest challenges as a team that you've overcome? Uh, definitely. Um, I think we haven't had good team chemistry the last couple of years. And this year, I think we've definitely come together as a team better than any other year. And what do you think you learned the most from your coaches? Uh, definitely. I've learned more about life off the baseball field, I say, than I have on the baseball field. Just how to handle myself as a person and also as a player. Uh, pretty much my whole life, probably since I've been about three. It's always been my favorite sport. I've played basketball and football, but I stuck with baseball. And did your parents encourage you to, to play that when you were really little? or? Uh, they encouraged me to play all three, well, and soccer and stuff, but wow. yeah. What do you think it was about baseball that you liked the most? Mm, I always felt like I was having more fun out with my friends in baseball than I was in football and basketball. Just always hanging out with my buds. Very cool, interesting. Okay, um, tell me, well, you guys are doing very well this season. What's the biggest challenge you think that you guys have overcome as a team? Uh, definitely coming back and beating Costa after that first loss. That was really big. I think it boosted us to come back and kind of know we needed that game because if we lost it, it was... Yeah, I've been playing baseball since I was five years old. Started playing t-ball, and uh, I've just always really liked the game. I've had a passion for all sports, so it's fun to play. Okay, you guys are doing well this season. What do you think is the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome? Uh, I think at the beginning of the year we got off to a rough start, so it was important that we bounced back and we uh, really came together and our team chemistry picked up, and that uh, helps us out in close games when things are tough. And what do you think that um, you've probably learned the most from your coaches? Uh, just learned like uh, attention to detail and staying focused at all times. I've been playing for 15 years since I was three years old and I don't think I really chose it like my my dad kind of chose it for me like I kind of was like born with a bat in my hand and stuff like that so. Did you ever play any other sports? Or? Um, I played basketball and football growing up and then I had to quit both for baseball. Wow, interesting. Okay, um, tell me, you guys are doing very well this season. What, um, what's been your biggest challenge you, you guys have overcome as a team? Um, I feel like uh, at the beginning of the year we were not as close as we are now. We're definitely um, a lot closer. Does it take a while to sort of get that chemistry together? or? Um, it definitely does um, because most of us have been playing like with each other, but then once you get to the upper levels of high school, it's kind of uh, meeting new people and stuff like that. How much time do you need to put into to baseball and homework, and do you have any time for anything else? Um, I'm pretty busy actually, yeah. I've been playing baseball since T-ball and I played it because my dad introduced it to me when really young age and I just stuck with it ever since. What position are you playing now? And I'm, I'm sure you, know, you played most positions probably, but which one do you like the best? Which one are you playing now? I'm playing outfield and secondary position pitcher, but um, I enjoy the outfield, but my favorite position probably corner infielder now and I enjoy the mound too. As a team I think we came we started not the best we started two and some two and six and we won seven straight games something like that so just understanding that it's not always the balls aren't always going to fall and stuff's not always going to go your way but just stick to it and keep working hard and that eventually it will go your way and that's what we've done. Um, I've been playing since I was four years old, and um, I play football as well, but uh, baseball I've started playing because I love the um, the team aspect of it, just like football, being a, a part of a team and making friends doing it. Um, well, obviously football is more physical, so you have to be more tough, but um, I mean baseball is a complete mental game as well, which is a big thing, and being mentally tough and um, being able to bounce back if you're not having a good game because um, you need to be mentally strong to be good at this game too. Yeah, very true. Yeah. What do you think you guys have learned the most um, thus far this season? You're doing very well. Um, actually, our, our mental toughness, I think, because uh, we had, didn't start as we thought we would. Uh, we didn't start on a good note, but um, we've bounced back, done well in league so far, and um, looking to do well in league and continue that, um, that winning streak that we're doing. I've been playing baseball for 15 years now, and it was more... My dad's always played, so I kind of just picked up off of him. It, w do you remember way back when, when you first started playing, and just why you really liked it then? Or well, Back then, I actually just used to go watch my dad play every uh, weekend. We'd go out and make a day out of the, the game, see nice. play. Very cool. Okay, um, you're doing very well this season. Tell me what you guys have learned as a team thus far this season. Well, just staying focused. We really needed to fix that from last year. 
we needed to come out and finish complete our games. We kind of trailed off towards the end, and we managed to start like completing our games at the end. Okay. Uh, well, I did play. I did play other sports. I played uh, football and soccer, but. I got hurt, so the only sport that my parents thought was safe would be baseball. But it's a really competitive sport, and uh, I've been playing since t-ball. Wow, what yeah. position do you play? Uh, I play third. I play. I can play most of the infield, but I mainly pitch. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think is the biggest challenge that you guys have overcome this season? You're doing very well thus far. Um, I I just think like like focus. Like we we've done a really good job, like just dialing in during the games, okay. and um, just making sure that we're getting everything that we need done. Like, we have a winning record. Mm -hmm. Like, we're doing pretty well, I think. What do you think the coaches sort of try to impress upon you to get you to focus? Um, I, I'd say they just, it's more like the coaches have trust in us, and, uh, like, they let us do what we want to do most of the time. Okay. So it's kind of like we do it on our own, mm -hmm. and it's something that we want to do because we want to win. A lot of the guys have said that, you know, you come together as a team and you guys are really bonded more than you have in years past. Is that yeah, true? Yeah. Like, in, in years past, like, some of the seniors and juniors didn't get along. So, But this year, the chemistry is definitely a lot better. I chose baseball uh, because I just like the team aspect of it. Okay. And um, what you guys are doing very well. What do you think that you've sort of overcome as a team this season? Uh, I think we overcame a tough start. I mean, we were hitting balls hard and just... They wasn't going our way, and we uh, just knew that we uh, trusted in our abilities and just kept going, and uh, things changed for the better. Uh, I wasn't very good at the other sports, so I picked baseball. It's a fun sport. And how long have you been playing? Uh, since T-ball, so like kindergarten. Okay, and what position do you play? I'm a pitcher only. Really? Yeah. Have you ever played any other positions? Yeah, but uh, once I got into high school, I stopped. I just pitch. No. Interesting. Do they let you do that, or do they still want you to play all the positions? Uh, they kind of make me do it, actually. <laughs> they do. Okay. Yeah. N not really an option anymore. Okay. Yeah. You guys had kind of a tough start, but you're doing very well now. What do you think you've overcome to get to where you are now? Our team chemistry's gotten a lot better. We're, uh, there's no more clicks like there used to be. Everyone's friends. Okay. So very works good. better. Uh, I've been playing since T-ball, and uh, I went to a lot of Major League Baseball games with my dad when I was little, so I just kind of picked up the game a uh, like for the game from those I mean it's, it's kind of like most kids I guess okay now, was it Dodgers Angels where uh wherever we could get tickets mostly Dodgers but I'm an Angels fan so uh, whenever we got to go to an Angels game I was happy so I guess we're gonna do this in reverse who's your favorite player uh Mike Napoli oh, okay he's a good player yeah he went to Boston right yeah <laughs> okay tell me um what you've overcome this season playing on this team uh, we've, at the beginning of the year, we kind of just lost a lot of close games that we could have won. It could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, we kind of figured it out and stopped letting us ourselves make careless mistakes in the beginning of the game and just finish stronger than we did at the beginning. Uh, we started relaxing more and having some fun as opposed to playing uptight because we'd already gotten the tough losses out of the way and they started to eliminate themselves as the season went on. You know, that's interesting. Players often talk about playing too tight. What does that mean exactly? Um, you're thinking too much as opposed to just focusing on getting the job done and winning the game. Okay. Yeah. And then um, how long have you been playing baseball and why did you choose it as your sport? I started when I was five in t-ball and uh, I played football, basketball, and tennis actually. Wow. With it, yeah. But I was really bad at tennis, really bad at basketball, and I was a little out of shape when I played football, so I just stuck to baseball instead. What, what do you think the skill set is to be a good baseball player? Yeah. Since you've been all kinds of players. Less demanding than football was, for sure, yeah. More relaxing, and it's just, I guess, more fun to play also. Yeah, mental toughness comes into the picture too, I would think. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, tell me what you guys have overcome this year to get where you are now. A slow start, like slower than we would have expected. We didn't really come out of the gate as quickly as we wanted to, so we started off two and four, but then we won five in a row after that. Uh, this will be my 13th season playing baseball, huh. and I selected baseball because I, I played soccer and baseball up to eighth grade, and I wasn't very good at soccer, so I stuck to baseball. Is, is it difficult to play two sports simultaneously anyway? or It takes a lot of time from school, but it's it's manageable. Yeah, okay. Um, tell me what you guys have learned the most overcoming your slow start this year. Um, I believe our team chemistry kind of, us bonding as a team kind of brought us over the slow start and we just started to 
play better. What do you think you learned the most from your coaches? Um, I probably learned just to work hard, get out there and work as the hardest you can every day. Okay. Um, I've been playing baseball for like a few months. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm more of a bas basketball guy. Okay. You know, I play baseball every once in a while, right. just like in season. You know. What, what do you think that you've learned the most from basketball that makes you good at baseball? Uh, that running in baseball is a waste of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been playing baseball since I was born, basically. I was raised in an environment in baseball with my dad, and I just picked it up from there. Okay. What position do you play? I play shortstop and second base. Okay. When you, you kind of learn all of the positions, do you kind of, how did you sort of settle into short, to second and short? Uh, my whole life I've really been a middle infielder, but I've tried out other positions like the outfield, so you can be flexible about anything, really. Okay. Um, do you like that position the best? or? Yeah, of course. I yeah. practice there every day. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, tell me how you guys kind of got you got to a slow start, but you're doing better now. Why is that? Uh, I think the team really bonded. Uh, no more clicks, and we just became a team, the actual team, and now we've been playing really well together. See, your first name is spelled differently than some of the other Connors. It is. It's Irish, actually. My dad chose it for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So how long have you been playing baseball, and why did you pick it as your sport? Uh, my whole life, you know, my dad kind of just told me, you know, from a young age, you got God-given talents, and, you know, you just got to put them to use. Okay. So that's why. What position do you play? Um, I'm first base, but I like to move around. I like uh, shortstop, <clears throat> uh, center field, everywhere. Okay. All right. And um, what do you think you've learned the most from the coaches this year? <laughs> 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 okay, okay. It's all right. All right. It's okay. Can, can you guys are going to get in trouble. Of course. Okay. Yeah, I um, you know, do the little things, uh, pick up dirt clods, um, <laughs> you know, just take care of the field, be on time, all the little things, yeah. Okay. Um, I've been playing for 18 years, and I chose it in my sport because I didn't really like the other ones. Okay, that's a good answer. Um, what position do you play? I play outfield. Okay. And have you always played outfield? or? No, I used to pitch, but one day a coach asked me if I wanted to pitch. I didn't really feel like it that day. So I said no, and then he asked if it was forever. I said, yeah, sure. Wow. So then I stopped pitching. Now, do you play center, right, left? Where do you play in the outfield? Or all of um, I don't know. It depends on the day. Okay. All right. Tell me what you guys have sort of learned the most overcoming the slow start this year. Um, I think we've overcome that 90-minute mark. Okay. All right. Got to focus the entire game. Uh, I've been playing baseball since, ooh, since I could remember. I probably started around four or five. Wow. Yeah, so I've been swinging since... I was a young and yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you ever play any other sports? Uh, I played soccer for maybe two months, and then I got tired of it really okay. quick. But so. you never got tired of baseball? No, okay. absolutely not. No, it's been one of my passions. Very nice. Okay, and then tell me what you think you guys have learned the most after the slow start. Uh, I think knowing that every day is a new day and just being prepared the next day to tackle whatever's in front of you and just forgetting about the past usually is the big thing for okay. us. Yeah. yeah. And then what have you learned the most from the coaches? Uh, the same thing, not being, not kicking your dog when something bad happens. Just forget about it, and every everything's a new appearance, and you have an, a second chance. So just try to excel in that next opportunity. A lot of the players have said that you guys have kind of bonded this season yeah. too, which is always helpful. Absolutely, yeah. Our team chemistry has shot through the roof compared to last year. You know, some seniors and juniors didn't very get along very well. So, but uh, this year we all laugh together, and it's it's just like a family. So That's yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, I've been playing t-ball. I've been playing since t-ball. That's about it. Okay. And did you, why did you pick it over any other sport? Uh, I'm left-handed, so my dad said, everybody else said, it's God-given. Got to stay with baseball, yes. left-handed. Yes, that's a, that's a good reason for sure. Um, tell me what you think you guys have learned the most after the slow start this year. Uh, that if something's not going our way, that we can always fight through it, and that sometimes the ball doesn't go your way, so just keep working. Okay. And, and how do you sort of balance schoolwork with baseball? Uh, it's tough, but um, you got to know your priorities. I've been playing baseball since second grade, so that's about 10 years. And I played baseball and soccer when I was younger. But as uh, high school came closer, I realized probably just stick with one sport. It's easier time management and stick with one sport for a full year. And I just realized I loved everything about baseball, so I stuck with that sport. What position do you play? Catcher and outfield. Really? Okay, first catcher. Do you like playing catcher? Yeah, I like catcher. It's 
all the action. It's there's no, you don't take any pitches off it constantly throughout the game. You can never really. It's it's always excitement back there. I always feel like the catchers have to do the most work because you have to like really study what's going on and the pitching and hitters in front of you and everything. Yeah, it's always there's a lot. You got to work with the pitcher to figure out which pitches to throw in every play you're involved either telling people where the ball to go or yourself handling the ball mm -hmm. very good okay and then um what do you th think you've overcome the most after the slow start uh, i think as a team every player just picked up and realized what their role was and there's going to be your starters there's going to be your role players when that could be pinch hitters pinch runners uh pitchers coming out of the bullpen and everyone realized that they had a role to play in our winning okay well i chose baseball at an early age because i know that was like my best sport that I was good at. Okay. And uh, I've been playing since I was like five years old. So. What position do you play? Uh, shortstop and second base. Okay. And is that something that you've kind of settled into or? Yeah, I've been playing that since I was like, since the beginning of my time playing baseball. So okay. All yeah. Right. A while. Yeah. Okay. You guys are doing very well now. How did, what do you think you've learned the most from overcoming a slow start? Um, I think we've just realized that we need to focus like throughout the whole entire game instead of just those first couple innings. What do you what do you do maybe psychologically to keep yourself going when you have a slow start like that? You kind of just have to keep your uh, energy up throughout the whole entire game. So you grew up here in LA. You're a Dodger fan. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, favorite player growing up. Uh, well, I had a lot of them growing up, uh, you know, who could forget Kirk Gibson and, and 1988 and, and Oral Hershiser and, and those type of guys. But I think the, the special thing growing up was to, to learn those teams under Tommy Lasorda and, and, you know, very much guys had their roles, you know, remember the stuntmen uh, with with, you know, Rick Dempsey and Mickey Hatcher and, and those guys off the bench. So, and that's kind of what we try to do here on the high school level is to have everyone have a role. You know, not everyone can start, but everyone can contribute. So that's what we try to, uh, you know, promote around here. And tell me who your favorite pro team is and your favorite player. Favorite pro team is the Dodgers and my favorite player is Brandon Phillips. My favorite pro team is the New York Yankees, um, but my favorite player is Mike Trout right now. He's doing really well. He plays my position, so. Yes. He's a great role model right now. Yeah, I mean, th definitely my favorite team are the uh, Angels. Okay. And I mean, I guess I want to say my favorite player is Mike Trout, but everybody loves Mike Trout. Well, also, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a great player. Also, I'm a big Howie Kendrick fan. I know he went to the Dodgers, but he's always been one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, my favorite team is definitely the Angels. I'm sure everybody's saying Mike Trout. He's a great guy. Um, other than him, probably like David Price. Uh, do the Dodgers. Good deal. The, uh, and Hanley Ramirez, but he got traded to the Red Sox. I was pretty yeah. bummed about that. Uh, my favorite team is the Dodgers, and then I'd probably say my favorite player is Andre Ethier because he plays outfield, and I do too, so I can uh, relate to that. My favorite pro team is the Dodgers, and my favorite player is Clayton Kershaw. My favorite pro team is the Angels, um, but my favorite player is Giancarlo Stanton nice. of the Marlins. Yeah. My favorite pro team is the Dodgers, and Clayton Kershaw is my favorite. Do you ever get out to Dodger Stadium? Yeah, I do. Um, it's a lot of fun going to Chavez Ravine. Um, I've been there. I mean, I've lived in L.A. since I was five, so I, I love going to games there, yeah. The Angels and Mike Trout? Uh, might be cliche, but uh, L.A. and uh, Kershaw. Okay, well, yeah. My favorite pro team is the Dodgers, and uh, favorite player is Robinson Cano. My favorite pro team is the New York Yankees, and my favorite player is Alex Rodriguez. Uh, my favorite pro team is the Dodgers, and my favorite player is David Wright. Tell me who your favorite pro team is and your favorite player. Uh, my favorite pro team is the Cardinals, and Yadier Molina is my favorite player. And why are you a Cardinals fan? Because uh, Albert Pujols used to be my favorite player, and then he left, so... You can still, you can still pick Albert, you know, he's just down the road. <laughs> my favorite team is the Los Angeles Dodgers, and my favorite player is Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>